summer long, the WBZ Ice Cream Social has been celebrating local groups making a difference in their communities. This week, this week Levin was there as we threw an ice cream party for some well-deserving volunteers and dogs, Levin. Me and Rihanna, our viewers have been knocking the nominations out of the park, and this is another home run. The local charities that keep our communities moving forward deserve to be recognized, so today we raise a WBZ Ice Cream Social cone to Guiding Eyes for the Blind. For everyone, the WBZ Ice Cream Social is a good time. Melissa, welcome to WBZ's Ice Cream Social! Yay! Melissa and her guide dog Lowell are part of the Guiding Eyes for the Blind community. <laughs> That's perfect. Guiding Eyes for the Blind is a national nonprofit organization, but they have a local chapter in Eastern Massachusetts. They train and provide dogs for people with vision loss. Guiding Eyes has given me dogs that reach have met my needs every time especially each dog has fallen at the right time for the right reasons now the volunteers are the fabric of this nonprofit they spend months raising training and socializing the puppies so they can graduate to guide dogs well, we literally cannot do what we do without our volunteers so our staff to volunteer ratio is about one staff for 10 volunteers um, and on our side we have about 450 puppy raisers and we have 14 staff to know that we're helping guide them in that way so that eventually what they're going to guide someone else right so it's it's pretty amazing so it makes a world of sense that our viewers wanted to throw guiding eyes for the blind a party and with the help of Erickson's ice cream and some stranger taking orders who wants doggy ice cream woof, woof, woof. Oh, who wants doggy ice cream for the dogs I'm sorry and to be able to see these animals help other people it, it's I we just love dogs and it's a great great organization ice cream. That was my first ice cream social. It was so much fun. There were roughly 20 volunteers on site, and the dogs were all so well behaved. And that was important in a learning event for the canines. And Liam Brianna, when I got there, Irene Fraser, the owner of Erickson's Ice Cream, came up to me and said, "You tell Liam that looking like a train conductor is not a bad thing." I thought that was odd. I mean, no hello, Levin. And then I was showed this. They wanted to give you this cow hat, which... This is for me? Yes, yeah, for you, so you have to oh, now okay. wear it, because they gave it to you. It's just a cow. Let's move on to Friday, everybody. <laughs> That's a new look right there. That's yeah, so good. That's the look so of the summer. <laughs> thank you, Ericsons. We love you. I look like a train conductor. <laughs> <laughs> So guess what? Yes! I like looking like a train conductor, Liam. <laughs> she wanted you, though, to have more of a traditional lid. Right. Yeah. So that's what I gave you right yeah. there. So you can, we can become ice cream summer thunder apart. buddies. I feel like yours look, you look way cooler as a train. I looked like yeah. a little boy <laughs> train conductor that's like playing with this. You look like the real deal. Levin? I look like a real train conductor. <laughs> no. Well, well, thank you, Levin, you look like the Giselle Bunchton of train The conductors. Giselle Bunchton of, of train The Giselle Bunchton of train conductors. Mm -hmm. If you want, I'll do a high kick walk oh, as I walk man. off. Thank you, Erickson. <laughs> thank, thank you, Levin.